So rapper YK Osiris goes on a troubling rant saying that he doesn't even want to live anymore. And he would go on to say that he hasn't made money off of his music in years. It seems like this young man been going through a lot. And look, we all know it's been a long time since he had a hit record. But welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm your boy Caliber. Let's get into this. Drake don't fuck with me either. Me and Drake don't talk. Me, me and the baby don't talk. Mm. Nobody in this is Osiris. Nobody, so don't keep using that with me. Like, you can't keep using that. Like, what stop. Happened? Like, we don't, we, nobody, we don't, like, we don't talk. The baby don't fuck with me no more. Drake don't fuck with me no more. And nobody fucks with Osiris. So why the fuck I keep living? Like, what? I just tell y'all, y'all, y'all not getting it. Like, so you tell me. So you tell me why should I keep living? I don't, I don't get it. Like why y'all saying like y'all, y'all would tell me all the time. But I'm giving y'all explanations like why. Should For those who don't know, YK Osiris is a once popular music artist who have amassed over three million followers on social media and is most notably known for his smash hit "Worth It." But listen, nowadays it seems like things aren't exactly how it used to be, and it looked like he's finding out who his real industry friends are. One thing people need to understand is celebrities are people too. They go through things just like we go through. The only difference is that they have fame and sometimes fortune. But speaking of fortune, this is a prime example of how money don't buy happiness. Money can't buy real friends. Money can't buy love. And money, damn sure, can't buy loyalty. Everybody's so busy chasing the bag, being focused on their goals, trying to achieve new heights. But you got to remember, if you reach the top, it ain't the same if your real friends ain't there. It ain't the same if you ain't got people that really got your back and has your best interests at heart. And so when you get successful, it's the little intangible things. It's the things that money can't buy that matters the most. Look, you can have all the money in the world, but your happiness, your fulfillment and your peace of mind is what matters the most. And what makes matters worse is that the statistics shows that men are more likely to delete themselves than any other group. It's a lot of things that men can't talk about. And oftentimes, men are looked down on when they express their emotions. So, they keep it bottled up inside. And sometimes it comes out like this, when you just can't hold it in no more. But just like the men are going through their thing, on the flip side, the women are going through it too. Because a popular female Twitch streamer named Amarath just shocked her fans and revealed that even though she's making money, she's living in a fancy prison and exposed her abusive husband, yelling at her live on stream. <laughs> Say, especially it's a context is literally I was waiting you for a response. You were just calling me crazy. I didn't say you were crazy. No, 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 no. Dude, I'm gonna give you one last chance. I'm gonna irrevocably fucking destroy everything. Oh hell no. I can tell you something that shatters you forever, and I'll start tweeting about it too. Yo, this guy's a bitch, straight up. But what? Why would you want to do that? I don't understand. Because. You are literally telling me I did not say something that I literally I said. That's now, okay, okay to let me. Right here, I'm going to tell you right now, dude. But I'm already very forgiving about that. Because you really no, you want to go for it. You want to go aggressive. And you want to say, no, I. For those who don't know who Amareth is, she's a popular Twitch streamer who's amassed over 6 million followers. And listen, this guy is showing all the red flags that she needs to get out of there and get to safety. And I'm gonna be real with you. He sounds less like her husband and more like a pimp. I hope baby girl sees this, looks back at this footage and makes the right choice and get the heck up out of there. Because baby girl, if he's talking to you like this, it's gonna get worse. It's not gonna get better. And she even went on to show even threatening text messages that he left her. Threatening to empty out her bank accounts, threatening to kick her out the house and somehow apparently he controls all of her money. He controls all of her finances. And I don't know how she got into a trap like this, but baby girl need to do like that Jordan Peele movie and get out of there while she still can. Listen, I don't take this type of stuff lightly. Ladies, do not take this type of stuff lightly. Fellas, ain't no real man gonna ever talk to a woman like that. This guy is a straight pussy. And I normally don't like to curse or use profanity, but man, this is an exception. And I hope that Amareth can rebuild her life surround herself with friends and family and people who actually care about her because at the end of the day toxic people like this will ruin you ruin themselves 
and ruin everything around them if you allow them. And I know that it's not always easy for a female to get out of this situation. But ladies, ladies, it's too many women who have lost their lives because they didn't act when they still could. Don't ignore the red flags. Do not ignore the red flags. This is not a game. Domestic violence, domestic abuse is a real thing. And we can't take it lightly. This really just shows that just because you have fame and fortune and influence, money, followers, that don't mean nothing at the end of the day. It don't mean nothing if you're not living a happy life. If it doesn't mean nothing, if it's breaking you down and making you feel worthless. Because listen, anything that costs you a peace of mind costs too much. Anything that costs you a peace of mind is too expensive. Straight up. When people are showing warning signs of a mental breakdown, it's important that we surround them with love and support when they need it the most. But thankfully, it looks like YK Osiris just gave an update on how he's been doing lately. Let's check it out. So it's about YK Osiris. That's all I want to say, man. I just want to say I appreciate every single person that checked up on me yesterday. I was very down and very emotional. Yeah. And I was I was drained, but y'all helped me a lot, you know. That's good. Knowing that you don't have friends in the industry and things like that, but you do have people out there that really love you, that really want to see you in. Right. And I realized that yesterday in the day. Um, all I want to say is that Man, check on your people, check on your mom, your sisters. I don't care if you mad, I don't know if you mad, but people need love, man. Facts. People need that love, man, for like for real, that love. It's gonna shine a light on them, man, and keep God first, man, because if we don't got nobody, we got God, you know, and that's for sure. Straight up. And I love y'all so much, man. I don't care if you broke, rich, poor, I don't care if you're famous and not famous, man. Mental health is serious, so keep God first, man. Keep going. I will be dropping more music soon. I love y'all so much. Y'all be safe. Look, man, I'm so glad that he was able to get back into a good place. And what he said is exactly true. I love how this situation can be flipped into a positive as a learning lesson that we need to show more love to each other. I mean, everybody's so busy fussing and fighting, arguing and debating. We need to start listening to each other and showing love straight up. Like he said, check on your strong friends. Call your mother, call your sister, call your brother. Life is too short to be playing out here. Like he said, this music industry, this entertainment industry, Hollywood is fake. None of it's real. And no disrespect to the people who walked out on his life. Not saying that all of them are fake. I don't know their situations. However, like Drake said, no friends in the industry. Ain't no friends in the industry for real. Drake said it himself. And this is the main reason why I believe that as a society, we got to start valuing good people over materialistic possessions. Material possessions is nothing. A car, a house, clothes, chains, jewelry, none of that matters if you're not happy, if you're miserable in the inside and trying to impress people that don't really care. It doesn't matter. I'm glad that YK Osiris was able to turn this into a positive, to a learning lesson. And I hope that young people see this and see that you are valuable and you are not the money that you make. You are who you are on the inside. And the real people who know you gonna love you for you, period. Check on your strong friends. Check on your friends who you think don't need no help. Your friends who you think got it on their own. Sometimes everybody ain't got it. Sometimes everybody's just holding on. Just because somebody got a good job or make good money do not mean that they do not have struggles and things that you're wrestling with. While you're chasing the bag, while you're chasing goals, while you're chasing opportunity, while you're chasing clout, if there's one thing you need to remember is that everything that glitters ain't gold. Straight up. And for everybody who needs it, we're leaving the National Prevention Hotline right here in this video so that if you need someone to talk to or you need to get something off your chest, you can go ahead and call this number and somebody will be on the line to talk to you if you're going through something, if you're having any type of deletion type thoughts. Before you do anything irrational, know that somebody out there is willing to hear you. Somebody out there is willing to offer you the help and encourage you. And uh, I just want to spread positivity, love and light to anybody that's going through anything right now. And from my heart to yours, I felt like this is a touchy subject. And I know that you can't really talk about this type of stuff on social media, the algorithms, all types of crazy stuff. But I feel like it's somebody who needed to hear this. I feel like it's somebody who can learn from this, who may need encouragement in a dark time. Because as the Bible says, weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. 
Thanks for watching the video, everybody. If you want to send me any videos or topics that you want me to cover on the next one, make sure you email me at calibernation at gmail.com. Follow me on all social media platforms at Who is Caliber on everything. And until the next time, peace.